Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kika, and today I am finally starting a challenge that I've been planning for a long time, and I've just been waiting for the perfect moment to start it. And I am actually standing in front of my new yarn wall. Uh, you could also call it like a yarn shop. I am super happy with how it's turned out. It's still a work in progress. I am currently down in the basement uh, trying to make myself this yarn wall uh, because I've been dreaming or really wanting to get my yarns organized and finally um, there's an idea and a plan for it so now it's just about executing it. This is also partly the reason why I haven't been able to film this video even though I had the, the idea already three or four weeks ago and everything actually started um, three or four weeks ago. Um, so let's take a look. from Amsterdam. We are on the street that used to be my home street. I haven't been in Amsterdam in over 10 years and in just a few meters is where I lived uh, for a year. I was studying here dance between, nah, between 2009 and 2010 and I've only been back here once since then. Window, the top window. How does it feel to be back here? Really super nostalgic. It's like a lot of memories that you don't remember. You just think about something, but then when you actually return to the place, I feel like I get so many memories now from that time because I was only like 21 at the time. So completely different and dance was all I wanted to. Well, I guess at that point I was already feeling a little bit doubtful about my <laughs> career choice, but well, no, no, I wasn't. Wait, 21. And it's like really long ago. But now we have a couple of hours here in Amsterdam before our flight to Helsinki <laughs> and there is a place that I really want to visit and it's so funny this place is a place that I've actually visited while I still lived here but then the shop was in a different spot uh, but now I looked online and it's really close here so <gasps> let's go <laughs> the legendary Steven and Penelope yarn shop. Um, Steven, as you know, of uh, Steven West. And it's so funny because I have been in this yarn shop yeah, over 10 years ago, probably 12, 13 years ago. And I bought actually the yarns to one of my first sweaters or the like cardies that I did more as an adult, so not as a teenager. Um, but then it was, I don't remember where, but it was much, much further away. It wasn't this central. So let's go and see what they have in store. Thank you. 
we're gonna make a color work sweater. I think this, would, this is going to be my base and then I couldn't <laughs> decide my colors. So I'm gonna like try it out a little bit. I think I'm gonna do like with these and then with one of these shades. And this is gonna be his hat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and these are just for fun, something like hats or something. <laughs> I like this, it's so intense. Yeah, it's really nice, this color, I think. And this is one of your like colors. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> super confident about my choices but now I feel really confident because I had a good game plan when I went in there I knew I wanted to find like a light colored base and then do a color work sweater so I have now some options also that I can then try out and swatch out at home um it became very expensive but I think it's worth it and so I've been three weeks now unable to buy yarn so I think that has now come around and beat me in the ass <laughs> in my bank account is the coffee good it is the best. It's like this. Seems like there's a hint of grapefruit or something. I... Of course there isn't, but it's just excellent espresso. Excellent. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Those yarns that you saw there in Amsterdam, I've just been waiting to finally be able to get my knitting needles uh, <laughs> working with them. Today, I am starting my project and I have a really, really special design in mind for this. I am essentially going to knit and design another color work sweater. And this time I have something really special planned because I am currently wearing my Salty Day sweater um, I just finished it like a couple nights ago and I really really like how it looks. It has a drop shoulder. This was very much inspired by my scarf project that I did a few videos back, back in Portugal. Um, and now I've got this ready and I've been working on the pattern. So I'm definitely gonna release this pattern. It will probably take like one or two months to just do all the test knitting and I have lots of different things going on, but that is definitely coming up. But I have been doing lots of like just like one colored, more like textured product lately. So now I really want to do something really special um, that has lots of colors and just a lot of things happening. So the colors um, I'm using for this project. So I picked up, I have all in all, I have four of this one. Um, I've already spun one into like a little cake. So I have those ones. Then I have this one, this one, this is so satisfying that I can just go into my little shop and grab my little yarns here. Um, where's the last one? Mm. So these are the colors for my sweater. Um, these are all hand dyed yarns. They're all fingering weight, like super luxurious. And I prefer to work with, like DK weight or like a worsted weight yarn so I can knit it with like a five millimeter US eight size needle. So I think I'm gonna have to do some combination and do some swatching before I get going. And also today I am leaving to go to Stockholm in about like two and a half hours. I'm going there to hang out with my sister. My mom is also coming. So I really need to spin up these into cakes and I've actually done a little, um, what do you call it? Like level up or no, what do you call it? Like well, leveled up my gear, <laughs> in case you could say. So I had this little thing uh, the last time I did a color work sweater challenge here on my YouTube channel, uh, but I didn't have this thing. And this, my friend, um, oh wow. I don't know why I didn't purchase this before because this just makes getting something like this from this shape into like a cake shape um, so much quicker. I've actually already spun one of them into a cake, so it's gonna, <laughs> end up like this and I think I'm going to be combining 
it with I have a lot of drops melody this kind of brushed alpaca and it creates like a really fuzzy fuzziness to it so it doesn't because this has a lot of like speckles and stuff which I love but I want to maybe mute that down a little bit so I think I'm gonna work it with this and my hope is that I can then work on my other colors just by holding them double but uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get gauged that way if they're gonna be a lot thinner than this because this becomes quite pretty thick together so definitely need to do a lot of swatching let's wind some yarn cakes It is Saturday, I have arrived in Stockholm and today is the day where I'm going to start this project. So I did some swatches before leaving Finland and I think it's gonna be really, really, really gorgeous if I say so myself. So the only thing I am a little bit um, iffy about, but I have been pondering it for a couple of nights and I think it's gonna be okay. So I am going to combine my, wait a minute, my main yarn so this, the kind of creamy, buttery, speckled color with this Drops Melody yarn, which creates like really nice and fuzzy texture. But because I don't want to pair my other fingering weight yarns um, that I picked up in Steven at Penelope in Amsterdam, because I think the shade is really gorgeous, I'm gonna try to hold these double and pair maybe with one silk mohair. Um, and hopefully that will be able to give it like enough texture or enough thickness so they won't be like too different. I think it's still gonna be a little bit different so this will for sure be more fuzzy and uh, thicker but I think that can also be like a cool effect for um, the sweater I'm going for. So now um, I need to sit down and maybe do a little bit of design idea um, before I start casting on and then I'm gonna start um, today or tonight. Uh, also our mom arrives tonight uh, she comes in from Portugal, so that's gonna be very cozy and yeah, can't wait to get started with this project. I forgot to tell you, this is the sorbet sweater that I am wearing. This is a long sleeve version that I had uh, one of the sample knitters, Elisa, knit me and it's so nice. This one is knitted with one strand of double sundae, no not double sundae, just sundae from Sunday's Garden, <laughs> um, together with this brushed alpaca yarn um, and it's super nice and yeah it has like long sleeves instead of the three quarter sleeves that the original sorbet sweater has. <music> Full stop Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful day Oh my 
God, I've been working on this Colorworks sweater for the past like three or four days. And now we're coming to the special thing that I was talking about in the beginning. So I'm trying to add some text basically to my Colorworks sweater. It's something that I've never done before. Um, and now you really can start to see it. So now I'm just transferring or I'm adding a different <laughs> cable to my work so I can try this on for the first time. <laughs> really excited. All right, this is so exciting. I'm now going to try it on for the first time. I've got my stitches on two cables or on two needles, so I hope. All right. Ooh, okay, it's definitely not too small. Like the last time I did a color work sweater. <sighs> this means <laughs> I have to, I have to unravel it um, until, until the next line. Oh, I like it. I like it. I was worried in the beginning here when I started that it would be like too traditional because I'm really trying to like take traditions but take it to a more edgier direction and make it more like contemporary and modern. So I feel like the fact that I chose like a darker color for my text is exactly what this needs. And I mean, it is very big, so I don't think I have to increase because I increased a lot of stitches here now. So here in the beginning, I think I had like 90 stitches. Um, first, I actually cast on with like 100 something stitches, but I just saw immediately like this is going to be too big. Uh, and then I've increased here. I've increased here quite a bit um, because I'm really, really worried that or I was really worried that it would be too small and too tight. But yeah, oh, I love it. So here is going to be my text. Um, you might already, maybe, or maybe it's a little hard to tell um, what the text is gonna be, you can't really see it yet. And then I'm gonna do like two more strands of just like these like zigzag with these two other colors. Um, and then I think for like the body, I want it to be maybe a little crop, but I think I'm gonna like decrease a little. I often do like just very straight, I think I'm gonna decrease a little and for the sleeves, I'm not sure yet if I want to have like something on the sleeves. We'll see, but <gasps> very, very excited um, with how it's going so far. We're gonna get more information about the fight later on. with Luna knitting. Um, I've slept so bad. I don't know. I couldn't fall asleep last night. Um, I've been home from Stockholm now two days um, and then I just woke up really early and started thinking about all kinds of things and um, just started to feel like no I'm not gonna get any sleep anymore so I might as well <laughs> wake up and knit a little bit. Um, I don't know, there's always like when I travel, even though I really like to travel, I feel like there's always like this transition period, like a couple of days to just get adjusted again to a new place. So maybe that's just why I couldn't sleep. But the good news is that I have progressed really nicely with my sweater. So now the full yoke is complete and I'm working, starting to work on the body. I did like a couple of more rows of just like some zigzag here underneath the text because I felt like if I would just have the text without any zigzag it would look a little floaty um, so I just felt like it needs to have that to frame it nicely and now my plan is to decrease a little bit here alongside the body um, because I think when or I know <laughs> that what's gonna happen is because now I'm gonna work the body just with one color and since always when you work with two colors or when I work with two colors it always inches up a little bit so this is more snug than now when I only work with one color um so that's why I'm gonna also like decrease it so otherwise like I will get like this kind of shape um so that's what I'm gonna do now and then I'm gonna work my sleeves I haven't completely decided yet like what kind of silhouette I want 
if I want this to be more cropped um, and if I want it or if I want it to be like longer I've tended to do like quite a lot of like cropped or shorter sweaters and not that many long ones so I'm thinking if I should make this like a bit longer I'm just always like wary of I'm trying to think like what I'm gonna wear this with um, usually like I like to wear like dresses or just jeans um, and then I always find like it's nice to be able to tuck it in a little bit but then again if I only have cropped sweaters how will I ever know <laughs> um, and then with the sleeves I'm also a little bit undecided if I am going to do like a very like balloony sleeve or very straight sleeve but I think I'll see that uh, once I'm there and then I can try it on <laughs> I'm now working on the body and I had to switch. I was using these uh, wooden needles because I usually prefer to work with wooden needles, um, but I found it to be a little bit sticky. I don't know, it feels like stickier now because I'm using this, um, this is from Drops, the Melody yarn, and then I'm using the fingering weight. Um, I think this is just a wool, maybe a super wash wool. I'm actually not sure, I should check that. But I think it's like some wool, wool uh, blend at least. Um, so I just changed to this metal needle so it will slide a little bit easier because um, I just found that I had to like strain quite a lot of my hands when I uh, was knitting. So I just uh, changed to make it a little bit uh, smoother. I do think that when you start knitting and if you knit a lot, um, really investing in good needles and finding needles that you like um, is so worth it. Um, I think sometimes if you experience pain or strain, sometimes it could just be as easy as to just change your knitting needles. Um, and of course, then again, some needles will work better with other yarns and fibers. So that's also, I think it's like a preference. Mm, like I said, like I prefer to work with uh, wooden needles. I actually like, I think it's like rose wood which are, or ginger, there are these ginger, what are they called, um, that I've started using quite recently that I really, really like. I'll try to like put a link or a name somewhere here. Um, and I also like that they have, cause yeah, this is what happens with oh, so many wooden needles is like that the number, so what size it is, just gets rubbed off. So, I mean, I know that these are five millimeter and I can pretty well, I feel like, Feel it like the ones I use a lot but it's still a little annoying when you have to then grab one of those uh, thing with the holes that you can <laughs> check what size it is so um, I like them because it's very like it's printed in such a way that I don't think it will ever rub off uh, the numbers I am so excited I finished the sweater and I haven't even tried it on yet I've been blocking it so I've just soaked it in cold water and I've had it just dry flat. It took like two days for it to dry. And now it's complete. <laughs> I'm going to try it on with you for the first time. Oh, it's so soft. It's pretty cold. It's still like very, very snowy. I can't even see how it looks. So um, <laughs> you tell me. Oh, but it feels so nice. Oh, it feels so, so nice. I am so happy about it. I mean, this was really a challenge or a idea, not a challenge, an idea that I've had for so long to do something with text and, wait a minute, I need to go and see how it looks in the mirror. Just a minute. <laughs> oh, I really like it. Oh, there is a mistake here. <laughs> Something's happened there, I can fix that. Oh, but I really... I'm so happy. And it's a good length too, I think. Yeah, it's a really good length. This was really one of those projects that I was thinking, like even from the beginning, I was feeling really good about it and really confident about my color choices and the yarn and it just like flowed really nicely and the yoke even though there was a lot of things to concentrate on, it went so quickly. Like I feel I knitted the yoke super quick. I think it took me like three or four days. And then <laughs> I have to admit, like knitting the body and the sleeves was a bit of a struggle. Like I had to force myself 
because I often find that when you've done the yolk, especially with a, something as colorful as this, then you kind of see, you can like, I can envision what it's gonna be like, so then this was a little like boring, but so happy that I did it um, and that I have this sweater now just in time so I can still enjoy it for a couple more months um, and I hope you enjoyed this video I am absolutely turning this into a pattern of actually because you have the text the stitches this goes around oh yeah I've never really talked about how I um, chose this word because I've had this idea for a really long time but I feel like I didn't have the right word for a long time I was thinking to maybe have like kutuba kika, but then I felt like that's like, I don't know, a little icky somehow, even though kind of cool, um, you know, thinking from like big brands and they might have their brand name, um, but that didn't really feel like really like, mm, like 100%. And then I had like things like heart or heartfelt or like these kind of words, but they just didn't really feel like they nailed it. So stitches is what I went for in the end because I also, I guess, wanted to somehow bring to focus the handmade aspect of it without it being like overly, you know, like I am a knitter or knitter or knit, 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 even though that could also be fun. But I really like the word stitches. Also like graphically, I think the word stitches is quite nice. And then when I got the idea that I can just continue it so it, there aren't two S's, there's like stitches and then it, the next word kind of stops, uh, starts <laughs> when the previous one stops because you have the S at both ends. So perfect solution. And then I just knew that, yeah, this is what I'm gonna go for. Um, yeah, but I'm definitely gonna turn this into a pattern. I've already thought about how to grade it because you have this word and of course you want the word um, to look nice in every size. So when you increase or you decrease, um, I already have an idea for how to do that. So that pattern is definitely coming up. I'll try to be quick so I can still get it up when it's still a little bit cold, even though to be honest here in Scandinavia in summer, it's still quite chilly. So I'm definitely gonna get lots of use from this. It's also like super non-itchy, which I love, um, even though it has like a little bit of a, I don't know, does it have a rustic feel? I guess it looks quite soft, but maybe these speckles create still like a little bit of a rustic feeling. I hope you enjoyed this video once again this kind of a little bit I don't know if it looks chaotic to the outside I always feel a little bit chaotic when I'm designing something and trying to film it at the same time look at the whole creative process even though this time I feel like it was pretty straightforward because I had a pretty um, clear vision probably because I had this idea for a long time so thank you so much for following along behind the scenes uh, of me knitting and designing this sweater if you'd like to come and see more of my sweaters and what I'm doing uh, you can come and say hi, I'm over at Kutuba Kika, there I also share a lot of things in stories and then on my feed uh, and for all of my patterns and when this will be released, if you're watching this at a later date, you can go to my Revelry store, I'll put a link in the description below for that as well. Alright, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one, bye!